It's Friday, November 15th here in Seoul, and this is your daily news from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. North Korea says it sent an ultimatum to South Korea earlier this week, saying that Pyongyang will unilaterally remove South Korean facilities from its Mount Kungang resort unless Seoul tears them down on its own. North Korea state media reported Friday that Pyongyang sent the ultimatum on November 11th. It went on to say that North Korea plans to greatly develop Mount Kumgang into a global cultural and tourist area of its own style and that there's no room for South Korea to cut in. Last month, North Korea demanded South Korea to take down its facilities at the Mount Kumgang Resort, saying that it will build its own international tourist place there. South Korea has called for face-to-face -face talks to discuss the fate of a long-suspended joint tour project to Mount Kumgang and propose sending a delegation to check the facilities, but the North has rejected the offers. Blackpink has made it to the Time 100 Next list, which is a new list that spotlights 100 rising stars from around the world. The Time magazine website explained that Blackpink has 31 million subscribers, which is more than any other music group in the world. It also mentioned that this year, Blackpink became the first K-pop girl group to perform at Coachella, a massive music festival held in California each year. The newly launched 100 Next list is a younger version of the famous Time 100 list, and it honors 100 rising stars who are shaping the future of different industries. Earlier this year, BTS was included in Time's 100 Most Influential People list for the second year in a row, and in the past, singer-slash-actor Rain also made it to the Time 100 list back in 2006 and 2011. President Moon Jae-in has turned down a request to meet with the parents of Otto Warmbier, an American college student who died shortly after being released by North Korea due to his busy schedule. A Chongwadae official said that the Korean War Abductees Family Union had asked President Moon to meet with Otto's parents when they visit Seoul next week to attend an event hosted by the union. But the Presidential National Security Office recently sent a response letter saying it would be difficult for Moon to meet them as he'll be very busy next week preparing for the South Korean ASEAN Special Summit to be held in Busan later this month. Otto Warmbier was arrested in North Korea in 2016 for allegedly stealing a propaganda poster from the hotel he was staying in. After spending 17 months in prison, Otto was freed and returned to the States in a coma, but he died several days later. His parents claimed that their son was tortured by North Korea, which led to severe brain damage. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.